Welcome to HiFinder Expo Highlights. Today with Sebastian Weber from FCT. What innovation are you presenting today? Yeah, we are a company producing microfuel cells. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you can see, this is a very small fuel cell. Uh, it's thin and laminar, so it's very flat. Uh, it has a, it's called lamina in our product range. It has a combination of the fuel cell that is basically not stacked, as you see in many fuel cells. It's planar. It has its electronics to it that basically control it to an optimal operating point. Uh, this also means that, that we can build systems. This is about 10 watt nominally, mm -hmm. but yep. we can then build systems that are much larger. A typical ap application would be, uh, for example, in logistics, these yeah. robots that go around in warehouses, yes. which is labeled ADV or AMRs, is typically yeah. something where it's difficult for more the, the, uh, the ordinary fuel cell stacks to fit in. Okay. But we can then fit them in, in different, depending on, on the volumes that are available. And it also means that we can design it such that, that you get to the power that is needed rather yeah. than the power that the fuel cell stack comes with. So, yes. so we look at the drive cycle of, of a typical ADVA more and then we design that system specifically for that application. Okay, so I need to just go through a couple of basics. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you said this is 10 watt. Yeah. yeah. 10 watt. So is this, this is air, um, Air cooled or yeah. is it liquid cooled? It, or? It, it is air cooled, and an interesting okay. part with our, our system is that we can run it actually pretty passively. If you just have one unit like this, yeah. I don't need to have any sort of fans or blowers or it anything. It can just be in the air connected, as you're Yeah, it. connected to hydrogen, uh, yeah. you know, uh, uh, yeah. and that hydrogen comes basically at almost ambient pressure. So, so, so just help us here. So where is the, I mean, can, can you turn the it around yeah. a bit? Yeah. The okay, hydrogen so the would actually end. be connected on this side. Ah, okay, so maybe we can yeah. just show that. So, yeah. so the hydrogen gets put in here, this yeah. middle yes. section. And, and, and then what are we having on this those? This is just a connection point in order to make sure that you, you get, you know, sitting on them. And we put this then, when we put many of them together in a manifold. Okay, so the hydrogen goes in here. Goes the, in here, and, and this is, is then the anode side of, of is this the... A, is this an outlet here? This is an outlet, yes. Okay, so you can circular, yeah, exactly. recirculate so it's, that. Yeah, it's yeah. what is labeled an open-ended. Okay. And this is an innovation on our side, where we have patent on, where it's a sensor cell. So this basically, with the electronic sensors, yeah. that the hydrogen passes all the way through yeah. through to this sensor cell yeah. and but not not preferably not out of that one okay yeah and then it's basically operating uh, and, controlling the operating and what does point. the sensor cell do it, it, it's making sure that it comes hydrogen there but not passing oh, okay passing so so it, the hydrogen is from inside and then yeah. it's, it's taking the air from the outside exactly. and the, so this side needs yeah. to be exposed kind yes of. and that's also so but when we put many of them exactly. together we basically have what we then call a manifold here yeah and we connect and then we can put okay. them quite densely packed to, together okay in this form factor we can even have many of of them flat, flat. Oh, like okay. this or so it can be on, on a surface and can be on, it, on, a, on a roof or, exactly. or wherever okay and if you take this AGV example yeah. we then build a system we built a system that's about 800 watts uh -huh. so that okay. means that you have about 80 of these in there yeah yeah in order to to actually get the power that is needed for that drive mm -hmm. cycle and okay so what is what is different about this you know is that this is this a carbon or a metallic uh, plate? this is a this is a this this is the technology inside is a PEM fuel cell it's a PEM yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it means that, and, and this is then uh, the metal plates we have here. So it's is, metal plates. Yeah, okay, and, and okay. The, we no, have no a cars, very specific yeah. uh, high volume producible setup where yeah. we can do this. And, and, and an important aspect is that the pressure over the, the MIA area, yeah. that it is the right pressure because that gives basically good efficiency in the power and long lifetime. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, we've talked about the air supply, we've talked about, so what, what do I need in addition to make this work? Okay, yeah. obviously some hydrogen you supply. Need okay. and usually yeah. that would come in a, in a form of a, of a bottle, yeah. where you have then a regulator going from the fairly high pressure, yeah, like yeah. say 300, 350 yes. bars, down yeah. to, you know, below what? 0 0.5 bars going 0 in 0.5, yeah. kind of. okay, yeah. all right, okay. And then, then and that basically propagates through and then you generate it. And then what we usually do in our system is that we connect that to a buffer. Mm -hmm. It could be a supercapacitor buffer, yeah. okay. it could be a battery. And that in itself means that the battery or the supercapacitor handles, you know, acceleration and high peaks. And yes. this just is producing, yeah, you know, steady typical, state. Steady state, yeah. okay. Yeah. And uh, so runtime of this, I mean... I mean, in, in a typical durability. system, right, if you, if you compare to a, um, a battery operated yeah. a robot, uh, the good part is we get on the similar size of a total system, including the bottle, the runtime is 
uh, approximately equally long. Yeah. The difference being that since we have compressed hydrogen, we can refuel that quickly with less in the, than a minute. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And by that, uh, basically. L last question: uh, Do you have yeah. this in operation anywhere? It's it's not. We have these one are produced, so they're commercially available. Yeah, yeah. Then in different installations. We've done a number of projects with different customers, but it's more for their evaluation rather than that you can see them out oh, and running okay. in, in okay. on a daily basis. So the future looks how for this? Yeah, I think I think this is this. Our proposition is unique in that sense that we can make it modular and scalable. Yeah, yeah. Which which most other you know they have to have their level of the stack right, but we can build it to the to basic both. application. Okay. Cool. Thank you very much, Sebastian. Yeah, this has been you. totally interesting. Uh, really innovative stuff, and I wish you well with yeah, that. Thank you. Thank Good you very much you. for coming, and thanks for watching. Thank you.